Elizabeth was not barren. <laughs> in their world, they were described as barren. In their world, it was said that they were both stricken in age. However, that seemingly perceived barrenness was simply delayed for the purpose, for the birth of purpose in destiny. Do you know why? They were going to bring forth that seed that baptized the Messiah. Come with me to the story of Ruth and Marlon. Remember that, I almost forgot her name, the name of the guy. Remember that Marlon was married to um, Ruthie and for 10 years, 10 years, the world described them as barren. But again, Ruthie was not barren. It was a delay and it was for the birth of the seed. It was simply purpose in destiny once again. Boaz and Ruth gave birth to Obed. And you remember the, the, the link between um, Obed and the, the seed that brought the Messiah also. If you are barren, either financial barrenness, childbearing barrenness, marital barrenness, I've come to tell you, if you would only stay in the Lord, your seed, your purpose will be birthed. Hold on, sweetheart, hold on.